Hey y'all, so look at this really cool contraption that I purchased. It's a um, umbrella swift and a yarn winder and I'm gonna show you how I use it to make that yarn cake. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I work with Knit Crate, which is like a monthly yarn subscription box where you get premium yarn sent to you every month. And the way this yarn comes is it's called a hank. And a hank is different than like a skein or a ball because it comes like in this loosely wound up um, twist that when you open it up, it becomes like this wide ring that you'll have to either put into a ball or into a skein in order to use it. Um, effectively okay so what I purchased was this umbrella swift and yarn ball winder and this was a very um, inexpensive purchase because um, I have so many hanks now that I really want to make sure I'm using the getting the best you know use out of that so what this is is it comes with a little clamp where the umbrella swifter portion will clamp to the table and in this case it's got like a, um, a rubber um, piece that's surrounded by a metal piece and that part clamps to a table and what I'm using here is just like a snack table a TV tray stand um, it needs the table needs to be no larger than about a one and a half inch thickness and you're just going to clamp that down onto the table as I showed you there on the screen okay once you have that clamped down there's a black piece on there that's just going to rise and fall just like you would if you're opening up an umbrella which is probably why they call it an umbrella swift so that would just rise up and go down and that will allow you to the hank of yarn to sit on it while you wind it up with the yarn ball winder so this here is the yarn ball winder and very similar to the um, um umbrella swift it's going to clamp to the table so instead of it it has this little blue that little blue area right there and it has a wing nut at the bottom it's going to clamp from the bottom so the umbrella swift clamp from the top this piece is going to clamp from you're going to you know twist it from the bottom okay once you have both of your components your wine ball winder and your umbrella swift once you have those clamped to your table you don't need a whole lot of space as you can see I'm working on that really small space there you're going to be able to get um, your hanks of yarn you know in a, in a workable way so this is what knit crepe would send me it's beautiful yarn and you're going to get something different every month if you use that or if you go to a yarn store a premium yarn store this is usually how they sell it and if you don't wind it up in the store you can do this at home Okay, so once you untwist it, you'll see that the yarn is tied together, um, and that's just to keep everything really neat, and that way it doesn't become tangled in shipment. This here is just the label, and most yarns are going to have that. Set that to the side. I'm going to show you how I use that towards the end. And what I do is I keep the yarn, um, the umbrella swift, collapsed together, and then I'm going to put the hank of yarn over the umbrella swift. And then once I have that there, I'm going to then expand out the umbrella swift so that it kind of fills in that hollow section, if that makes sense. Okay, so you can kind of see what I did there on the screen. Using that little black level, I'm going to pull it up until you get good tension because that's what you're going to, that's what's going to hold your yarn in place as you try to wind it up. Okay, so that's good, just like that. Now, now that I have it um, secure, I'm going to go around and cut off the pieces of yarn that's holding the um, hank together. Okay, so usually in this case with Knit Crate, they put a thinner piece of yarn so it's easy to see. Um, it's not, it may not always be like that, so just make sure you're cutting the right portion of the yarn so that you're not cutting any of your great yarn, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut it. Okay. Now the yarn winder that I purchased off of Amazon, it, ho it holds up to about four ounces of yarn, including which the yarn that I love, which is the Bernat blanket baby blanket yarn if you watch any of my videos you know I love that yarn it actually a small skein now not the, the 300 grams but the smaller skeins it will roll up in a complete roll like that and sometimes people will um, instead of working in a skein they may prefer to work with the cake because it sits flat and the ball doesn't kind of roll around while you're working working with it 
So once you cut apart your yarn, you'll see the tail ends are together. Um, there's going to be one towards the back and one towards the front. You want to make sure that you use the yarn that's to the front of the hank, okay? You're going to then work that through the needle, which is what we'll just call it for this um, purpose. It's just the hole that the yarn is going to go through so that it stays in place as it's being wound around the yarn winder. <laughs> so that little hole right there, you're going to put your yarn through that. Okay. Once you have um, threaded your yarn through, you're just there's two nod notches or notches at the top of the yarn winder. You're just going to put the yarn through that, leaving about an inch or so of yarn. Um, and then once you've done that, you're going to start winding the yarn. This is actually the fun part. <laughs> it's really actually kind of fun. Take your time. This is not a race. I uh, made the mistake of letting my eight-year-old try this, and he thought it was fun to try to go as fast as possible not a race take your time do it gently you want to make sure that the yarn does not get caught up in the umbrella as you're working it around and if you want to you can kind of hold the yarn a little bit so just make sure that it keeps good tension and it doesn't you know have any mistakes okay and just kind of get it going and once you're done it's going to make a really cool little cake that you can then work from okay so just keep on going until you come to the end Okay, and then once you're done with it and it comes to the end, you're going to take that um, piece of paper that had the yarn information and you're going to kind of push it down as you're pulling it off of the yarn winder. You'll just kind of simultaneously push the paper in the center and that way when it contracts, it will have the paper information inside, which I think it's perfect so you always know what type of yarn you use. Okay, I'll put the information for Knit Crate down in the description box down below along with a discount code. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.